area people. A very special holiday variety show is now on stage at the Packard Home in Bider, full of holiday spirit and a chance to reflect on what Christmas is all about. Here it's about Christmas, uh, commemorating the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ, and we like to make it a, a wholesome experience uh, rather than just a commercial experience. It's called the Hayes Holiday Special, now in its fifth year. Along with this Dickens-style show, a Christmas nativity is also acted out. It's all performed here at Bernie Packard's home, something everyone looks forward to. One might say a little bit on the, fam on the Osmond family style, except this is better because uh, <laughs> it's from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> With 32 family members participating in the show, it's guaranteed enjoyment for everyone and warm memories for the family. Performances are happening twice this week, tomorrow, December 20th, and again Thursday, December 22nd. Shows begin at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. There's no admission fee, but reservations are requested. If you want more information, give us a call here at PM Magazine. Up next, we'll meet a woman with psychic powers out of this world. Hello, we welcome you to the Hayes Happy Holiday Special. We appreciate your attendance. We know some of you travel far. We hope you like the show. So now on with the show.
lots of back or side door into the barn for a presentation of the nativity scene. Now, because of the sacred nature of the nativity itself, we ask that you refrain from applause, please. Thank you very much. Zacharias, oh my beloved wife Elizabeth, for this day I, Zacharias, will execute the order of the priest in God's holy house. My heart rejoices in righteousness, and my heart is made to feel exceedingly glad for the commandments which God has given us. And you, my beloved wife Elizabeth, share this holy day with me. Always you have been faithful and true to the commandments and covenants which God has given us and are blameless in this respect. Oh, my husband, how blessed are we that you should live to serve in God's holy temple. How blessed to enter the holiest of places where betimes God speaks to his children through the priest. Never No, there is no more sacred place on the face of the earth. And long have I waited for this day when I may officiate in the ordinances of the house of God. Oh, my husband, <coughs> I have known this to be the desire of thine heart. And I know that Almighty God hath rewarded your righteousness and faithfulness. And today, you shall enter his holy place. Now go, my husband, and perform well the duties of thy holy calling. I shall go, and peace be with you. And I shall wait and pray with the multitude who will wait and pray outside the temple while you perform your duties inside the temple. Mine eyes do behold a marvelous thing. I perceive that thou art an angel, sin of God. My heart quakes within me for fear. What terrible thing have I done? Have I come unclean into this sacred place? Must I suffer the anger of God for coming unworthily into his sacred house? Will the Lord forgive the weakness in his humble servant? Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. Thy wife, Elizabeth,
shalt bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. For thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice in his birth. For he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb, and drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he'll convert many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. Wherefore shall I know this? For we are old and stricken in years. I am Gabriel, that stands in the presence of God, and am sent to speak these glad tidings unto thee. And because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season, until these things are fulfilled, thou shalt be struck dumb, and shall not be able to speak. It seemeth to me that Zacharias doth carry over long in his duties. Yea, never have we been so long in prayer, all the incense burned. I fear that Zacharias may have become ill, for he is advanced in years. Perhaps the excitement of this day is too much for his feeble strength. What happened? Thou dost appear very pale. Are you ill? Speak to us, Zacharias. Why did you so long in the temple?
been eight days now since a son was born to Zacharias and Elizabeth. Yea, it is time that he should be blessed and to be given a name. But Zacharias cannot speak. So one of us will have to pronounce the name upon the child. If Zacharias could speak, I'm sure he would name the child for himself. Let us name the child Zacharias. His name is John. What manner of man shall this child become? Blessed be the name of the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He will remember the covenant which he has made to our father Abraham. He will deliver us from evil, that we may serve him in holiness and righteousness all the days of our lives. And thou, son John, shalt be called a prophet of the high, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to bring knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, to give light to those that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, Thou shalt guide our feet in the way of peace. <laughs> Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. An angel hath spoken to me in a dream. I will go and do as he has said.
Wait. There is a stable in the back. It will provide shelter. And the soft hay will be much nicer than the rocky earth. Come with us. to all my studies of the prophecies. The time is here, or very near, when the new star should appear to announce the birth of the Messiah. Each night I must a careful vigil keep, for it is the desire of my heart that I see with mine own eyes the Lord made flesh. Join in our travels to visit the newborn king, king of the Jews. Long come I and my friends spend in prayer, and we know a new star for setting his birth. And according to this knowledge, we will sell what we have, and we begin our journey, that we may witness with our own eyes. I see it growing in the sky. It becomes brighter and brighter. It lingers in its place and shines with a brightness my eyes have never beheld in any heavenly body. It is the star. It is the star. Praise be to God on high. The babe is born. shines in the heaven, and how brightly it shines in my heart. For the children of Israel now have their king. I must meet with my friends, and we will journey to Judea for a 
We have come here in obedience to the message of the angel of the Lord. There's the stable. Could it be our Lord born in this stable? Yea, the angel did give us a sign. He would be wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Come, let us enter. Blessed are we among men, being witnesses of such a holy thing.
the people. All right, folks, you're on candid camera. <laughs> I do see your pupils are dilated just a smidge. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, Rach, how does it feel? I like three Thanks for having me. I love you. I you have a stopwatch and then you time each performance? I've been watching it and too many times she was sliding off with no reason at all. First move, she slides right off. Yeah. Did you notice that uh, only one time did anybody get out of character on the Nativity I've seen? Yes, I noticed, uh-huh. That's when I almost pulled. Did, did you uh, actually step on her gown on purpose? interview you and find out how. Hey, Johnny. Okay, here's one of his cohorts. Hey, Jill. What do you have to say about staying on the donkey? Uh, why did you jump off so prematurely? Definitely donkey. Always try to have What do you have to say about the whole situation? About what? The whole situation? <laughs> no comment, huh? No comment. All right. I bet you wonder why we do it. No, that wasn't his comment. Who do we have here? Oh, we've got some movie stars. <laughs> I don't think I've bought enough potato chips. We're setting up the video out there. Hello there, buddy.